Sometimes Aidan Hines Sculpture Studios would take on a project which is quite vast really in terms of production run. I mean, here you can see the plans and the layout which the client would give us and we had to make some cowlings to house some lighting. Now when we were producing this production run we had to fit around um, a metal cowling as such where, is it, where the lighting was housed so I didn't want to make a compound error uh, as we were getting into a large production run I wanted to make sure each shell fit the actual um, uh, metal work which they were producing so I created this polystyrene form and then clad the clay on top of it just to make sure it fit with all the kind of restraints of the metal work once we finished the pattern, we made another pattern and we cleaned it up and got it absolutely perfect. And then we got on with the production run and all the moulds and here you can see we're us laying up the individual pieces, which we made as individual pieces because we wanted to collate them in different fashions uh, and different configurations as they had to go around a kind of lamp post is afterwards. When all the production was made, we got on with the trimming and the cleaning up and making sure that each one was laying square and straight and we're just making sure that we got on with the actual donkey work and the production uh, and we tried to tackle each one as, as we went along we cleaned them up and we bolted them and make sure they all fit exactly as we wanted them as I said once all the production was done and we had them in the kind of units the fours and two we actually got on with started spraying the units as individual pieces first we sprayed them in black like a satin colour and we added weights to make sure they all stayed exactly square to the floor because as the resin cures it kind of wants to find its own movement and then we added the gold and then we started adding a kind of a, a, a verdigris colour and then the bronze uh, waxes and paste on top of that to create this lovely kind of um, brass um, and copper feel now just trying to get your head around them um, we made about 450 units in total and we bolted them together and they had to come apart in separate units um, and I, th I think they, they actually come together really really lovely and we wanted to make sure because we, we wasn't fix fixing them up on site when they actually went to Dubai and went on to the exhibition area um, that they went together really really simple uh, and it's kind of like idiot proof really that anybody can put them up without any kind of problems now we know that they was going to be packed into, into transit, into containers and then be shipped so we started a cling film and to make sure that they were lovely and safe but in the end we kind of got this shrink wrap that packed around them and then we heated up the shrink wrap and it held them lovely tight on top of the um, pallets themselves. At first I thought it was strange that they were coming to the UK to actually have these things made but in the end it made sense because um, they trusted Sculpture Studios to do the work. We got it done on time unlike many of the projects which they were um, trying to tackle at the same time but Sculpture Studios got it done on time and we never let them down and they look fantastic when they were in situ. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Dubai Resort. Um,